Um, this actually also maybe is a good time for me to show off the little mocks that I had done, uh, because that was a feature. Uh, okay, wait, man. Uh, came, let me, uh, r give me, I, I don't know, tell a joke or something. I got all my work stuff up. <laughs> I'll get this. <laughs> Pulled up. Um, so for context here, um, I had been wanting to do some stuff in the mapping tools. Um, it's not even here. Um, and I reached out to a couple of folks in the community. It said sort of an open you know, call for input, um, scheduled some time with a couple of different folks to get you know, just sort of interview and understand their process around, um, man, where is it? Figma does not make it easy to find things. Recent, that'll help me. Um, cargo, great. There we go. <clears throat> um, yeah, these are mid mid my mid five mocks here. Uh, so the basis of this, let me just put this into play mode. State. Um, all of this information would be preserved. You could kind of go look at, back at it later. Um, everything in the UI can like be collapsed down so you can be in sort of a big mapping state. But if you wanted to just be watching your most recent uh, you know, pings come through, this would be kind of the one to be in. Um, and then just some basic settings. So always show the hotspots, show the coverage map. Um, Keeping the screen on, I think, would be a great feature. Uh, so it's not always dimming on you. Uh, dark theme for nighttime driving. Um, and I don't know, playing around with the idea of like being able to see all of the connections. Um, so this was just sort of a first pass at uh, sort of rethinking what a UI could be, specifically as a mapper tool uh, built on Cargo. Um, so this would probably be like a fork or something, and Cargo would sort of remain as its. Uh, a sort of proof of concept tool. Um, there's a couple of things that would need to happen to this uh, sort of going into the future. I think there's a lot of like other ideas. Uh, and for instance, um, uh, console allows you now to buy multiple packets uh, per um, uh, ping, I guess, I don't know what to call it, um, per, per downlink. Um, and so for I would wanna find some way or uplink, yes, I always get them turned around. I knew I had it backwards. Um, but I think it would be interesting to see how we can represent um, multiple packets uh, per uplink or multiple purchases per uplink. So you would see all of the hotspots that hurt a particular uplink um, instead of just the one. So yeah, that's And then that's at that it. point, that's this looks awesome, huh? This looks great. Um, being able to lock your screen, uh, or like, or lock it to the center, it, it, that's huge. That, that's hugely helpful when, when you're out in the field doing mapping. Uh, yeah. And so. yeah, this, uh, this UI, like when you're in the, um, locked center mode, this button would probably go away. And then once you pan away, it would reappear. It's kind of a common pattern for, you know, mapping yeah. tools, but, uh, Question. hard to mock in Figma. Oh yeah. Go for it. Um, any way to have not necessarily this one but have it isolate the coverage for a single hotspot uh that's one of those conversations that i think we want to figure out um and i'm also trying to balance in my head um mapping analysis and mapping as an activity um and i want to make sure if i bring those things into the app that they or into the mapping tool that they don't sort of get in the way of uh that sort of core feature of mapping uh, if I were to do that, there'd probably be some sort of like analysis tab where you would sort of be able to like select it, show different layers, um, you know, how many times a particular area has been tested, things like that. But that's like, that's cool. been a really common request is to be able to see the results of a, just one given hotspot. So you're right on track. 